Good morning. Welcome to a brand new day. I'm Larry Kirkpatrick. I'd like to share some devotional thought with you today in Psalm 122. Let me read it to you. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together, where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord to the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, for thrones are set there for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they, pros- may they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brethren and companions, I will now say, peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. This is a, a pilgrimage psalm. You had to go back, you had to go up to Jerusalem uh, multiple times each year for the major feasts. And this was not a, a, a highly independent uh, society. There's a, a very lot of independence and liberty, but, but they saw themselves as a people. And today, this is one of the f- faults that we have as Christians in our age. We're very independent. If we don't like something, boom, we're out of there. That's not the Christian way. We need to seek for the peace and be actively seeking for the peace of God's people. Yerushalam, the city, you know, of course, in Hebrew means the city of peace. Is the church a city of peace? Well, Jesus said he'll bring a sword and that will divide people from each other. But it's not, it's not God's intention to divide. It's just the fact that many people won't give up their sin. Are you willing to give up? your sins, the things that separate you from God and from his people? Something to think about. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem, verse 2. Are our feet standing where God's people are? I hope so. I hope you're attending church. I hope you're being a blessing to others because that's God's intention for you and for me. Where the tribes go up, it says, to the testimony of Israel. There was a sanctuary in Jerusalem where God took care of the sin issues once and for all. All symbolizing, of course, Jesus coming and then his high priestly ministry. We read about in the book of Hebrews. Jesus is our high priest. And his people should be working together, side by side, proclaiming and living the message he has for us in these hours. Earth is so lacking in hope today. We want to pray for the prosperity of Jerusalem and seek the good of God's people. Will you seek the good of God's people today? That's what I want to do. God bless you. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Help us to be part of the peace of Jerusalem. And Lord, help us to be a living people for you. Give us this day opportunities to strengthen and encourage others and perhaps to share a word about Jesus with others. Lord, this is our prayer today. May your people prosper across the globe in the face of all the things they face. In Jesus' name, amen. God be with you. Have a wonderful day today in Christ.